hey guys i hope this finds you well welcome back to another video if you don't know yet in this channel i'm talking all about family travel to africa and more precisely i'm documenting our families preparation as we move to either cameroon or Cote d'ivoire or maybe both so we'll see if this is of interest to you, make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel, that way you don't miss any of our progress, any of our videos. So I did a previous video where I shared my top three things, even four things that excites me the most about this upcoming uh, recon scouting trip to Abidjan that I'm about to take with my husband. At the time of this recording, it's two days from now. So we're going to Abidjan this week. And uh, I shared my top three things, four things that I'm absolutely excited about, things that I absolutely want to do on this guiding trip. And in this video, I wanted to share the things that my husband is excited about, looking forward to doing. He doesn't want to get on camera. That's all well and good. But he gave me his things, his three points, okay? I asked him for these three points, okay? So what are the three things? I figured that it would be important to have a male male's perspective in this. And... Like I said in a previous video for him, he's never been to Abidjan, he's never been to Cote d'Ivoire, but he grew up in Cameroon. So for him, Cameroon is, is, is a good, safe place to move to because he knows it. But Abidjan, he doesn't really know it. For me, I've been to Abidjan 10 years ago, uh, but so much has changed in 10 years, but I've never been to Cameroon. So that's why we'll also have to do a recon trip to Cameroon in the next few months. Okay, so what are the things that he is looking forward to doing? I am a planner, but my husband is not. So the main reason, the main thing that he's excited about for him is to chill at the beach. Chilling at the beach is what he loves to do when we go on vacation and there's a beach. He's like, don't bother me. Let's not have a list of activities to do. Let me just sleep. Let me get at the beach. Actually, all the hotels, whenever we are at the beach, we, we vacation at the beach, the hotel has to have either a view to the, the beach or if on, we're on the ground floor, preferably like walking just steps from the beach. Okay, this is what we have for our honeymoon in Hawaii. And this is what we'll have here uh, for a few days in Abidjan. So that is a main reason for him. For him, it's mostly to chill, have a good time and relax. Okay, he works really hard. And so I don't blame him for that. That's his first thing he's looking forward to doing, chilling at the beach. Not that I don't want to do that, but it's not my top, top priority. <laughs> Second thing that he's excited about doing in Abidjan is seeing some friends. He has some childhood friends in Abidjan and they are having a whole wedding celebration. And so he is excited to go and see them and see the family and hang out and all that. I'm excited about that too. And so that's a major uh, bonus point for him, the fact that they're having that celebration on the week that we're planning on the scouting trip, which makes this whole trip even more more excited, exciting for him. So that's his second thing that he's most excited about is seeing friends, seeing childhood friends. And the third is my husband loves jazz, right? So checking out the jazz scene and specifically the jazz scene, but just the music scene in general, that's something that he is extremely excited about. He just realized that most of the music, the African music he listens to is um, Ivorian music, so Coupe de Calais and all of that. And so he was like, oh, wow, I didn't realize that it's actually from Ivory Coast and not other parts, right? He didn't just didn't realize that. So it makes it even more... Uh, enticing, even more interesting for him to to go and uh, and check out the music scene and everything. He really likes um, live music, live bands, and all of that. And so that's something that uh, I've been able to to ask around for people from people who are already there, like some recommendations from jazz clubs and all of that. So we got a few a few um, choices for him to go check out. I don't know if I'll go, but. <laughs> I'll probably go. It's part of the experience, right? So, um, yeah. So a few jazz clubs to go check out or clubs or things like that, that he's definitely going to enjoy. Not really clubs, but like live music scene, right? So that's something that he's really, really looking forward to. And I'm excited for him that, you know, he has different priorities than me. And in the end, 
There are things that we'll do together, things that we'll do separately, and that makes this trip even more, you know, rich and exciting because we don't have to be together all the time, 24 seven. So he has his things that he wants to do. I have my things that I want to do. I try not to overdo it, even though knowing myself, I'll probably, uh, uh, yeah. If you want to see my itinerary, let me know in the comments. That way, that way I can share it with you. Um, it's bad. I have things to do every single day. Um, which that's for me, right? It's not for him. For him, first three days, is just going to be straight up chilling at the beach. Chilling at the beach. That's what he has on the schedule. <laughs> that's it. And so chilling at the beach and eating some good food. So he's going to be happy for the first three days. All right. So any questions you may have about that, if you are a guy and you have questions for my husband, post them in the comments and I'll pass them to him as well. Any questions for me, just post them as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe and share with other people who might be interested in this process of moving to the motherland. And until next time,